Hello everyone, how are you doing? In this video, we will create the interaction message. So as you can see, when I get close to the hoverboard, we have the message. And if I move away from the hoverboard, the message disappear. And the same happens when we enter and exit the hoverboard. So this is basically what we're gonna do in this video. But before, if you do like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. And without further ado, let's start. First, let's create the widget for the message. So for that, let's create a new folder. I will name this widgets. Let's open this and create a new folder for vehicles. Like this. Let's open and here right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint. Here select the user widget. I will name this WB enter vehicle like so. Let's open this and let's start implementing this widget. This widget is really simple, we just need to add a text here. So in palette, just search for text. Let's add this text in the widget. Let's change this option here from fill screen to desired on screen, like so. And let's select the text so we can change the settings. So for the content here, I will put E to enter, like so. And I will leave everything else as it is. And this is basically all we need to do here for the widget. Let's compile and save and now let's use this widget. Actually, let's just put the justification on center here, like so. Now let's add this widget in the hoverboard blueprint. To do this, let's go back to the folders and let's open the hoverboard blueprint. Let me just open it here. So we need to add this as a component. So here in components, let's click on add and let's search for widget. Let's pick the first one here. I will name this WB enter vehicle like this. And here in the details, we have widget class to select. So let's just select the widget that we created. So WB enter vehicle, this one here. And there we go. Let's just change the space here from word to screen like so. Let's compile and save. And now if we hit play, we should have the text on the screen, as you can see. So now we just need to make this uh, hide when we are not close and show when we are close to the hoverboard. Now let's create the functions to show and hide the message. To do this, let's go to the event graph and here let's create a new function. So in functions, just add one. I will name this show enter vehicle message like this and this will be really simple we just need to get a reference to the widget component so let's just drag this in the graph and from this we can type set visibility let's click on the first one here let's connect the execution pin and of course the new visibility is true so let's just check the new visibility here let's compile and save and now let's create the other function let's add another function here and i will name this hide enter vehicle message and again this is really simple we just need to get a reference to the widget like so and from this let's type again set visibility let's connect the execution pin and in this case the new visibility is false so let's leave as it is let's compile and save and of course by default the visibility of the widget should be false so let's select the widget here and let's scroll down until we find rendering here so let's uncheck visible there we go let's compile and save and now let's use those functions so let's go back to the event graph and we need to call the functions when we enter and exit the vehicle so when we enter here in this event let's go to the end here let me just expand the comment here we need to hide the message so let's get the hide enter vehicle message function and let's connect here like so and of course, when we exit the vehicle, we need to show the message. So let's again expand this comment here and let's use show enter vehicle message here, like so. Okay, so now we need a way to call those functions from outside this blueprint. For that, let's use the vehicle interface. So let's go back to the folders and let's open the BPI vehicle here and let's create two new functions. So let's add one here. I will name this uh, show enter message and let's create another one to hide enter message like so 
let's compile and save and now we just need to implement those new functions in the hoverboard. So here in the hoverboard blueprint, let's implement the functions. So here in interfaces, let's expand and first let's implement the show enter message. Just double click on the function to implement. And this is really simple. We just need to call the function. So let's just drag show enter vehicle message here and call like this, connect the execution pin. And let's do the same uh, to the hide enter message. So just double click here and call the hide enter vehicle message function like so. Let's compile and save. And this is basically it for the hoverboard blueprint. Okay, so now we just need to call the interface functions whether we are close to the hoverboard or not. To do this, let's go back to the folders here and let's open the character blueprint. Let's open this and here in the event graph, we have the begin overlap event and end overlap event. So we just need to call the functions here. So when we uh, begin overlap, let's call the show enter message. So let's drag from the curve vehicle reference here and let's type show enter message. We have the function here from the BPI vehicle. Let's click on this. And of course, when we end overlap, let's call the hide uh, enter message. So let's just drag from this and call hide enter message. And there we go. Let's just compile and save. And now we can test to see if this is working. Okay, so here in the end overlap event, I'm calling the hide enter message after cleaning the variable. So this won't work because of course this variable will be invalid. So we need to call this before cleaning the variable. So let me just disconnect these uh, pins here. Let me put on the middle here. So before cleaning the variable, let's connect on the true here and then connect on the set node. So we can call this hide enter message here. So we need a reference. So let's just drag the curve vehicle uh, variable here and connect on the target. Let's compile and save. And now this should be working. So let's go back to the map and hit play to see if it's working. So now if I get close to the hoverboard, as you can see, we have the message. And if I move away from the hoverboard, the message disappears. And the same happens when we enter the hoverboard. So when I enter here, the message disappears and when we exit, we have the message again. So everything is working. And this is basically it for this video and this series. So if you did like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the bell so you receive all the notifications of new videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep learning. I'll see you in the next video.